Assalamu alaikum students, so all of you will be fine. This is Javed Dulfkar, your mathematics teacher for uh, D1 Mathematics Export new syllabus 7th edition that we are going to starting over today intermediate level of exercise 1B uh, question number 3, 4, 5 and 6 we will solve today. Okay, that is uh, not so difficult but a little bit complications and logics are there in this question we will try to uh, solve and try to make that that complications easy for you people okay in question number three you can see on your book find the largest whole number which is a factor of both 42 and 98 students so i told about lc uh, hcf h means highest highest common multiple the abbreviation and here if we want from find the largest whole number that is uh, uh, which is a factor of both 42 and 98. The so largest, largest mean we have to find the HCF. How? Okay, let's see the question. First of all, we need the prime factors of 42 and 98. 2 into 3 into 7 for 42 and 98. 2 into 7 into 7. Okay. Largest whole number which is a factor of both 42 and 98 is the HCF of 42 and 98. HCF of 42 and 98. That will be 2 and the next is 7, 1 time, not power 2. So 2 into 7 that is equal to 14. Clear all the students? Okay. Uh, that is equal to 14. So this is the largest whole number which is a factor of both 42 and 98. So I think you people clear this question. In question number 4, the numbers 792 and 990 written as the product of their prime factor 792 2 power 3 and 3 power 2 is, 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 is into 11 and 990 is given the prime factor 2 into 3 power 2 into 5 into 11. Two numbers 792 and 990 are, are present with their prime factors. That is not difficult. Clear? We have to find the greatest whole number. That is That will divide both 792 and 990 exactly. Exactly mean that is divisible. The remainder should be 0. We have to find the greatest whole number. I told about the greatest whole number. The same thing that is coming for the second time. Uh, the greatest whole number is basically the HCF. The highest common factor. So the greatest whole number that is divide the uh, 792 and 990 exactly. So uh, first of all we write the prime factors of these two. Greatest whole number that will divide both 792 and 990 exactly that is that will be equal to the HCF of 792 and 990. Clear? When he want, uh, uh, first of all, we'll finish this. Uh, first of all, 2, then 3 part 2 is present in both, 2 times 3, and then 11. After multiplication, we will get 198 is the greatest whole number that will divide both 792 and 990. Clear all the students? When he demands us about the smallest or least or lowest, then we will find the LCM. When he, when he demands about greatest, so we will do HCF. Question number 5. The numbers 176 and 342. Two numbers we have 176 and 342. Written as the product of their prime factors 176, the prime factor of 176, 2 power 4 into 11, and 342, 2 into 3 power 2 into 19. Clear? Uh, find the smallest whole number. Now look. Uh, a, a logic, basic logic is already given. So no confusion, just look on the smallest and the greatest that, that will give the proper hint of the question. <coughs> Three points, hence the 
find the smallest whole number that is divisible by both 176 and 342 i have to find the smallest whole number that is divisible by 176 and 342 clear so let's see first of all we will write the prime factor of 176 that is 2 power 4 into 11 and 342 2 into 3 power 19 these are given clear so smallest whole number that is divisible by both 176 and 342 is equal to lcm of 176 clear all the students so the smallest is the lcm if we talk about the greatest that will be the hcm clear of 176 and 342 so that is equal to 2 power 4 3 power 2 into 11 into 19 so after multiplication we get This is the answer of thirty zero nine zero six three zero zero nine six is the smallest whole number that is divisible by both one seventy six and three forty two. Clear? Question number six is very important. Uh, a little bit logic is there. Find the smallest value. It means we have to find the LCM. Yes. Of n such that the LCM of n and 15 is 45 what we don't know what is n but he is saying that n and 45 sorry n and 15 is 45 the lcm of n and 15 is 45 so unfortunately uh, we don't know about n so we we'll, what we'll do we'll take the prime factor of 15 and 45 first of all so the prime factor of 15 are 3 into 5 And forty-five three point two three into three into five. Clear? So uh, we have to find the LCM. The smallest value we will take for LCM will not take five. The smallest is three point two here. That is equal to nine. So nine is the smallest clear of value of n. That that is the nine clear. So this is the answer of question number six. The solution. So uh, three, four, five, and six will be your homework. You will practice more and more so that you will be clear. If the greatest is given, then what do you have to do? If the smallest is given, then what do you have to do? Clear? The basic is this. Next, after two questions, there will be advanced level that is related to this. Not so much difficult. Inshallah, we will try our best to to make these question, all these question, for you very easy. क्लियर सो टिल नेक्स्ट लेक्चर मुझे इजाजत दीजिए अल्लाह हाफिज़